Welcome back to the channel, everybody. So today we are going to be dispelling some misconceptions um, that I think the public has surrounding um, special forces soldiers or really any special operations soldier and all of them, every Navy SEAL and every Green Beret being some, you know, war hero or some savage combatant that's been in a ton of com combat and a bunch of gunfights. Um, and I'm here to tell you the reality uh, is that that's for the most part simply not the case. Now, are there a bunch of guys in special operations with that resume? Yes. However, um, there's also a substantial amount who don't have that resume at all. And I'm here to sort of walk you through how that can be um, and what that actually looks like. Okay. And then. Really, the purpose of this video is gonna to be to give you guys signs and symptoms um, when you're watching, you know, your own favorite special operator influencer um, about if they actually are as credible as they maybe are putting persona on to be, okay? So, um, really how this can work, guys, is, you know, there's a bunch of different factors that can come into play of, you know, what guys have actually been through, have they been to combat, have they deployed, all sorts of these different things, right? Um, but the reality is there is a substantial number of guys who earn their trident, earn their green beret, um, get to their teams, and, you know, maybe do one, two years on a team, um, and either through poor performance or maybe this they realize the job's just not for them, um, decide to get out of the military pretty quickly after that, okay, and not re-enlist. That's a reality. The vast majority of those guys have not been to combat, never been in a gunfight, or any of those types of things. And let me be clear, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that, okay? Still served honorably, and to earn a, a Trident or a Green Beret um, or whatever is still an insanely impressive thing to do, okay? It's, you are one tough son of a bitch who can make it through any special operations training. However, that doesn't inherently make them a badass, a war hero, some badass fighter, um, or anything like that, okay? Now, um, again, this isn't to knock that down. The problem then arises is when that type of person then gets out of the military, becomes a social media influencer, and builds a persona based off of a resume that doesn't actually exist. And I can tell you, there's unfortunately um, more of that than uh, we would like to have, okay? I'm not gonna um, put any names out there. So there's some guys I know um, that are complete phonies and frauds, but it is what it is. I'll let you guys figure that out for yourself as I give you some of these things to look out for that can um, start to make you notice these things as well. Okay, so for, for me personally, if you're wondering, if you don't know my channel or new to my content, what the hell does this guy have to uh, say for the matter? All right, I'm gonna put some of my Valor Award citations up on the screen. Um, haven't shown these before. You guys can read through these um, and demonstrate the type of stuff I have been in in combat with my teams. Now, um, obviously really, really nasty stuff, okay? It doesn't get much more harrowing than some of these things. However, I don't do that to brag or boast or anything like that. I'm showing you guys this because if you look at all my content that I've ever put out, things I don't ever do, I never brag about how many people I've killed, how many souls I've taken. Uh, I never brag about um, what we have to do in combat or glorify what war is um, or talk about how badass I am. You will never ever hear that out of my mouth. Why? Well, uh, every single guy I know who's been through the things I've been through does not think it's cool. There's nothing cool about being in a near ambush. There's nothing cool about having people killed around you, okay? There's nothing cool about killing other people, okay? Um, regardless of what you may think um, as it gets, again, romanticized by Hollywood. There's not, I can promise you that. Um, so, again, the point here is every guy I know that is, you know, what is the real version of what Hollywood romanticizes, um, they're very quiet, humble dudes, okay? Um, they're not, they don't have YouTube channels where they're 
you know, claiming they can beat up UFC fighters or threatening to fight people in their comment section. Um, you know, none of that. That's, that's an, an easy sign that you've got somebody that's a fraud or a phony, right? Okay, so um, now with that, I want you guys to understand there are a ton of Army infantrymen, uh, Marines out there who have a substantially more combat time and experience than a ton of special operators, okay? That's, that is a real reality, right? And again, there's no knock on it. Sometimes it could have been out where you're at in your career. You weren't with a unit that deployed to combat. The time you went, there really wasn't that much fighting going on. A litany of reasons that could be why a special operator maybe never was in a gunfight, okay? So let's talk about some of the signs that you guys should look out for, okay? The number one, and, and I can't stress this enough, anyone who brags about how many people they killed um, or glorifies killing people in war, okay? Um, those people, there is a 99% chance they've never even been to combat and almost 100% chance they've never killed anybody, okay? Um, we just don't talk like that. Again, it's not a cool thing. Anybody who's done it knows it's, um, yeah, it, moving on from that, okay? Um, next one, the tough guy persona, okay? I know a ton of real tough guys, okay? And every sing not a single one verbalizes that, okay? If you have to tell people how tough you are, tell people how badass you are because of how many people you killed, you aren't. That's, that's an immediate for you guys. She just red flag you right off the top. This guy's full of shit right away, okay? I can promise you that. Um, yeah, the number two is, or the number three here is gonna be the, um, you know, threatening to fight people type of thing. I, I keep seeing this one too from certain individuals. Um, and we saw this with the whole Sean Strickland thing. Just because you're a Navy SEAL or a Green Beret or Delta Force does not mean that you can fight and especially not in hand-to-hand -hand combat, okay? Um, and here's the other thing I saw a ton in the last video I did, talking about that, well, talking about, oh, well, SEALs are, you know, the best in the world at firearms and this and that. Yeah, a few of them are. Um, and then you'll find out that there is a shit ton of civilians with no military or law enforcement background that go out and do competitive USPSA shooting that are substantially better than most Navy SEALs or Green Berets. That's reality, guys, okay? so. I just want you guys to understand that, yes, there's a lot of very, very impressive men out there in the special operations community. Unfortunately, there's a lot of bad apples out there as well, okay? Uh, that, unfortunately, give us all a bad name, okay? Most of it is acting like tough guys and, you know, making up stories and pretending to be something um, that they're actually not. Most of it's an insecurity thing because um, they were part of an organization and they didn't actually go and do what most of the rest of the organization organization did so They can't really handle um, the insecurities of that, right? So again guys, uh, you know, this was Really just to ring things back into reality um, And again, this is not to knock on anyone. I you guys I love The special force community. I love the special operations community for those of you who know, my dad was a Green Beret, I'm a Green Beret, my entire adult life has been in special operations, all my friends are Green Berets, right? Um, or Mars operators or SEALs, I am Ranger Battalion. Um, but I just am getting really fed up with seeing some of these guys that I know uh, haven't done shit, sort of pretend to be, and then also, um, you know, make the rest of us will look bad with the way they act on top of it, okay? So again, no names. You can figure out who those people are on your own. It's not what I'm here to do. I'm just here to bring everyone back to reality, get out of Hollywood fantasy land. And again, yes, we should, we should respect our veterans and our special operators, but they should also act like professionals as well. All right, guys. Have a good day.